What's up guys, this is Bill is Cool from Awesome Gameplay, and welcome to episode 12 of Minecraft Portal Survival. So, I have my 40 snowflakes, so we are ready to go on that front. So, let's head to Isaka first, and then we're going to get into some other things, but first we have to get our sword. So on our way there, I'll go ahead and explain how that all went down. So, the previous two episodes, you saw how difficult those dungeons were. But that was just the way that I was doing them. But I figured out that if you take TNT, so I made a ton of TNT and brought my flint and steel, and then I would just strip mine until I found caves, and I would explore the caves and find dungeons, and then I would find the back of the dungeon, like not the front, which is the entrance, but I would go to the back, because that is where the chests always are, and then I would blow up TNT on top of the dungeon, and it would op make an opening, and then from there, I would try to break the spawners or drop TNT inside to blow up the spawners. And that would destroy the spawners. And then, finally, I would break the chest and get the snowflakes and climb back out to the roof. So yeah, and that seemed to work very well. So it took a few hours just going through dungeon after dungeon, and I ended up getting enough snowflakes. So, we are about to trade our Divine Sword for an Icene Sword. Oh, this is not the guy I wanted to go to. I thought this was the guy we're trading from. But it is not. Yeah. Is that him down there? <laughs> what are you doing down there, man? I think I need you. I think. Wait, nope. This is the guy that I do not need. That sells Santa Claus things and food. Yeah, this is not where I want to be right now. And I have no blocks. I have obsidian, but we are not going to dig out with obsidian right now. So let's get out of here. It's not too big of a deal. All right. Okay, let's go inside here. I'm sure he's still in there somewhere. Where are you at, man? I need you. Oh, oh, blue guy. I saw you. I saw you. Come back here. Come back. Don't run. It's okay. Relax. No, that's not it. I actually want to know, like, what that one does. I wonder if it... I don't even know. Who knows? I'll have to look it up. Maybe it'll be worth getting. Where is it? Oh, God. Oh, no. Please. Let me get my... No! No, 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 no! No! Oh my goodness. <laughs> I did not expect that to happen. Let's try this again. Now we have to watch out for that glass side. Okay. Let's get up there. Man, I have other plans for this episode. So I hope just getting this new sword doesn't take too long. Let's see. Come on. Okay, now I know it is off in this direction. Let's just go ahead and sprint over there. Oh, wait, is it this direction, actually? Alright, let's see. Is anybody in there? Oh my gosh, there's so many of those things. Oh my gosh, there's mobs everywhere. Please be inside of here. Probably not. Nope, you're not. Alright. We just need this sword. Oh my goodness. Where are they at? Oh gosh. Oh gosh, that thing like slowed me down and zoomed me in. Wow. Um, <laughs> okay, let's see here. We have to kill that. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Okay, I'm not getting any hits on you. Does he do anything besides slow me down? I guess not, so he's not too big of a deal then, actually. Come on. There we go. No drops? All right. It's cool, it's cool. You're not the guy I need. I need the blue guy. You're not the guy I need either. Why are there so many red guys? I need a blue one. I need the tinker or something like that. Why aren't you all inside of y'all's houses? Yes, you are. Good job, man. Good job. Okay, let's do this quickly. Where is it? There it is, there it is. Okay. Divine sword. 40 snowflakes. Yes, I seen sword. We got it. We are so powerful. We have the most powerful infinite sword in the game. Now let's get out of here. Is that going to work? Um... It did work, but I have no idea where it took me. <laughs> this looks like an old cave, and I was searching for dungeons. Oh man. I forgot that I had moved it. Okay. Um, how do I get back to the dungeon? I mean, not to the dungeon, to my portal. I don't even know. Okay, I'm going to let this glass hide kill me, because I really had no idea how to get back. And I'm ready to get started here. Yeah, come on, come at me. Yeah. Respawn. We got our Icene sword. You know what it's time to do? 
It's time to enchant it with... Oh, what's that? Looting. I know I had a better one than that. Looting three. Yes. Looting three. Now, I was also thinking, like, what does it matter if an anvil is damaged? Does it make it require more levels to do things? Like, I'm really not sure. All I know is this one is very damaged, so... I mean, I have, like, an unlimited supply of iron here. I went ahead and made blocks of iron because I had so much stacks of iron, so I turned nine of the stacks into a 64 stack of blocks of iron, so yeah. Let's just make another anvil here. I always forget how it is. I think it's like this. Yes, okay. I'm not sure if this means anything at all, so if you guys know, just let me know. Because I don't know if a damaged one does anything different. Boom. Oh, I may not have enough levels, actually. Nine levels, alright. Well. Well, in that case, we can get to the next part of what I had for this episode. So. Um, you guys might have noticed in that chest already, there is mob spawners in here. And I did not cheat those in, necessarily. So, here's what happened. Oh, wait. I forgot I have this portal gun here. We should probably... We should probably use that. Let's let's grab that. And we want to dye it. Let's see here. Portal. Um, what kind do we want? Atlas, Peabody, Bacon, Potato, Default. Or let's go ahead and do the... Let's do the Atlas's portal gun. That is made with a light blue dye. How do you make light blue dye again? Okay, I can definitely do that. The reason that we're doing this is so that way we can have four possible portals. Hold on, let me erase this. I hate when it has that weird lighting. Also, that slime is going to annoy me so bad. He needs to die. This is like the bad part about living on a swamp, but it had to be done. Oh, well. There he is. Yeah, die. Die. All right. Okay, where were we? We were... What were we doing? Oh, yeah, we were dying the portal gun. Anyways, I was saying it allows us to have... Oh, I think I have bone meal in here. Yes. It allows us to be able to have two different portal guns that have their own sets of portals, which can be very handy, so I can always keep one portal at my house and use the other portal for whatever I want. So, let's go ahead and do that here. We have default... Oh, yeah, we need to die it like this. There, now we have two different portal guns completely. Like That's the default portal gun, and then we have Atlas's portal gun. So, let's go ahead and test that out here. I'll go ahead and show you guys. See, we have those portals, and we also have these ones. So, yeah, obviously this one goes to the blue, and this one goes to that lighter blue. So, yeah, that's how that's going to work. Okay, back to the mob spawners. So, I think the best way to explain what has happened there is to just show you guys. So, we're going to go ahead and head to our mob spawners that are off in this direction. Alright, first let's go to the one that was inside of this pyramid. Let's try to find the entrance to that giant netherrack room. Because I know there was a few in there. Alright, we can't go through there anymore. I guess I screwed that part up. Okay, there's the netherrack. I just want to get into that room. Here we go. Okay. Let's go ahead and one-shot all these guys. Boom. Okay, first I need to light everything up. Because I do not want them to spawn while I'm showing you guys exactly what we can do here okay let's put one more right there and I think that's good enough let's kill this zombie one shot alright so with the portal gun if you press F no if you press G you can Oh, come on man don't you know I'm trying to make a video over here die okay Let's just put more light around here. I'm not really sure where he spawned exactly, but whatever. Okay. Anyways, if you press when holding the portal gun... Oh, they're just spawning. Okay, that zombie's no big deal. If you press G on a block, you can pick up the block and place it down wherever you would like. As you can see there, you can even pick up mobs and just throw them up in the air and give them fall damage and toss them across the room. So, yeah. That is something that I didn't know about before. But I know about it now. Let's go ahead and eat. And let's just heal ourselves there. Okay. Oh, I know I need to put torches in here. Duh. Okay, anyways. So, 
I decided to test that on a mob spawner. Let's go ahead and do one of the useless ones. Okay, I have another skeleton one in there in the other pyramid, so we can go ahead and do this skeleton. So, if we just place a torch down anywhere like that, you can pick up these mob spawners. As you can see, I've picked it up. And then you can put it back down, and it's still a skeleton spawner. And now he is spawning. That's not what I wanted to happen. Anyways, and when you do pick it up, they can't spawn, as you can see, which is kind of useful. Oops, I didn't mean to place it down again. And then another thing, if you want to have it in your inventory, if you place it down on top of a torch, then it just pops out like that. So yeah, oops, I just tossed my bow. That was an accident. But, as you can see here, whenever, whenever you do that, it turns into a pig spawner. It says monster spawner, and then it says pig. And as you can see, it really is a pig spawner. Like, yeah, it's not a skeleton spawner anymore. So, yeah, that's why I have so many pig spawners. But the one in Isaka that I did that to, it stayed as a Rollum spawner. So, yeah, I just went ahead and kept that one, and I can use it if I need to farm for ice stones or something. So, yeah. So, now, for this episode, I decided that we should go ahead and start building a mob, not mob trap, but a experience farm. So to do that, we need to bring these mob spawners to my house without breaking them or turning them into pig spawners. So in order to do that, we are going to go ahead and shoot our orange portal. Let's put it against the wall. That will be safer. There we go, orange portal. And we'll pick it up and walk through. Hopefully that worked. Okay, we are here. I'm glitching out because I did not do it correctly. Like I said, you are... You, the best way to do this is to put it three blocks high, but that crafting bench is in the way. So I'm going to have to go to creative mode here. Just to get out of this little bind. There we go. Alright. Oops, I'm still in creative mode. There we go. Okay, so we have our mob spawner at our house now, but that is not exactly where I want it. For now, I'm just going to store it in here. And nothing should spawn because it is very bright in this room. So yeah. Okay. So we have that one. And now we need to go retrieve the other skeleton spawner that is in that other pyramid. So let's go ahead and head over there. I should be able just to jump through here. And again, it's glitching out. But I should be able to break that block. There we go. And now we can use this one to kind of portal around. So we can get out of here faster. Shoot one there. Let's see here. How did I get out of here before? I know it was somewhere up here. I'll just go ahead and dig straight up here. I'm going to get crushed by sand, I know, but whatever. Oh, I don't have any blocks, but I have sand. And sandstone. Alright. So, we need that other skeleton spawner. And it looks like it's taking a lot longer than I thought to repair all of this, so we're probably going to get more into the building of the mob trap, or the experience farm, on the next episode. So, let's see. This other pyramid over here. I think, is this the one? That has the skeleton spawner in it that I used to use as my experience farm. Except it was a very inefficient experience farm. Because I had to sit around and wait for them to spawn. And there's a creeper in there. Please don't blow it up. Where is my sword? Do not want you to blow up my experience farm. Or my skeleton spawner. That's what I meant to say. Okay. So, let's see how we're going to do this. We need to shoot an orange portal. I should have moved that blue portal because it's going to glitch again, but... Oh, well. Oh, let's get out of here. Oh, no. Okay, I thought it glitched it. Okay, let's get out before that happens again. Do I still have it? Please tell me I still have it. Let's just try putting it down. Oh, I think I left it. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right, we got it. Let's go ahead and just bring it in here as well. And let's get started on building this thing. We may be able to build it in this episode, and I'll just go ahead and speed up the footage, but actually I don't think we are because we're already at about 15 minutes here, so yeah. So in the next episode, we're going to go ahead and build a mob spawning room, not a mob spawning room, I keep saying that, an experience farm off in this direction, just a little room in there, and I'm probably going to build it out of cobblestone because I'll go ahead and show you guys. I'm very low on wood. Yeah, those are all my wood items. Not very much. But, oh, my game is freezing. There we go. Anyways, cobblestone. Yeah, I have all of that. All of that. All of that. And all of that. So, yeah, let's go ahead and put this up. 
And eventually, that should stuck with these pig spawners. Nope, it's not. Not strange. Pig, pig. They're the exact same. Usually they stack, but I guess they don't want to anymore. Yeah, this is. it says glass-eyed spawner, but as I'll show you out here, it just spawns those rollums. If I can get out my door, what is going on? My game is just freaking out today. What am I on? I don't understand. I have no idea. Um, let's go ahead and torch that back up right there. And we're just going to go out the back door because I have no idea what is going on right now. And I hear slimes. Yeah, you need to die because you are very annoying. Because that 34 damage, yeah. Die. Everyone die. Oh, it's such a pain to kill the big slimes because they turn into so many little slime ball dudes. Little Jerry's. We'll call them little Jerry's if you watch Captain Sparkles. Alright. There we go. Okay, so anyways. Yeah, it says Glasside Spawner, which Glassides are those fast things that I let kill me earlier in Isaka. But as you can see, they are just those regular guys. And I did not prepare for this at all. <laughs> Let's put a torch down. Let's grab it. Let's lead those guys away. Come on, follow me, guys. Now run, 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 run. Put it down. Okay, we got rid of that. Anyways, so yeah, if I ever decide to farm these guys for any reason, I can build another farming room using that spawner. So yeah, they're just so powerful. I kind of knew I was going to die, but whatever. We're going to go right back out there and finish killing them off. And then that'll probably be it for this episode because... Yeah, I feel like we didn't get very much done, but I guess we did. We got a brand new sword, and we have set up a room, or not a room, but we've retrieved our monster spawners to set up an experience farm. So, yes. Oh, my goodness. I'm almost dead again. Oh, I have my mass events. Duh. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Let's do that again. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's go ahead and head inside, and that'll be it. In the next episode, we'll begin building the experience farm. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.